All right, so what we're talking about tonight is titles that work. So it was, it was called a working meetup, right? You know, read that part, working meetup. So what I want to do is give you five good rules for good titles. Now, there's a bunch of rules you can apply. But, uh, it, it gets old after a while. So I want to find my cursor. I'm going to give you five good rules that you can apply for good titles. And then after I've given you those rules, I'm going to give you uh, 10 or 12 different prompts for ideas for titles. Now, it's going to be different for each one of your websites, right, because everybody's got a different topic. So I'm going to give you five good rules, and I'm going to give you about 12 different prompts, different ideas that you could do. And then I want you to create titles. And then you're going to email them to me. And I'm going to put them up here on the screen, and we're going to make fun of them. Okay? Everybody's laughing but me. Well, right now? Well, after you create them. Yeah, so I want to email them tonight. I want to put them up there, and I want to do some. Hmm? Yes, Wi-Fi. You go to BCC guest, BCC guest, and then you have to push the little green button so we know that you're not looking at porn. We're in a church, right? Or gambling. We're not trying to. <laughs> we're not trying to better life, or better our soul against the devil. All right. So has everybody got their BCC guest? So I'll. So five rules, and then. Uh, some prompts. So rule number one is called the 50-50 rule. I thought it was kind of dumb, but this is what the guy called, so I borrowed I stole it from you. 50-50 rule is you spend 50% of your time writing your content, and then 50% of your time thinking of what the title is going to be. That's a lot of time. Exactly. The point being, well, it shouldn't take you that much time, but if it, the point being is the titles are exceedingly important. If you don't get your title right, there is a really, really good chance nobody will ever find you. So the title is at, is at least as important as everything else you write. Now, it might not take you that long to come up with the title, but the clear emphasis on getting a title right should not be understated. If you can get your title right, 50% of all you need to do is done. In fact, we all have landed on a page because we saw a good title, only to click on there and then find nothing or garbage or, you know. Why, why is that? It's because the title makes that, big, that much of a difference. So if you don't get your title right, there's a real hard, it's really, really difficult for people to find you. If you hit your title right, half of your battle is done. The other half is putting in good content or the other way around. Good content, good title, good content, good title. So you want to give as much attention to your title as you do to your content. That's rule number one. Rule number two is honesty. Honesty. Don't make promises in your title that you don't deliver on. You think, well, who would do that? <laughs> well, we know that's true, don't Because we? we've all landed on stuff that we thought was going to be useful, only to get in there and read it, and it wasn't. It wasn't what they promised. So we, we know the, the double entendres. What's a double entendre, Lorraine? I'm asking you, Jerry, you're Lorraine. No, I thought, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. I thought you would know what that is. A double entendre is when you have a, a, a phrase that could go either way. I'm going to stick this, I'm going to stick them up. You can stick them up or you can stick them up. You know, you could go, usually the second way for it to go is dirty. So you actually promise something, but people could read it either way. And more often than not, they want to read it the wrong way. They want to read it the dirty way, you know, the, 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 the foul, the crude way. And then when they get on your site, it wasn't what they were looking for. So they're, they're cute because you can get traffic from two different directions, people looking for this or people looking for that. But what you really, really want is people looking for what it is you have to give them, right? So don't don't try to be have fun. Don't not, don't try to be clever. Don't try to be sneaky. In fact, you know, title titles generally err on the very very clunky, very I don't know, awkward, very straight way. So I'm, I'm, I'm 
we've got some second language people, and so I'm trying to think of easier words to use. So it should be just very matter of fact, very straightforward. Don't try to have, don't try to be creative in the title, because people never search for creative. Do you use a search engine? Sure you do. Do you use creative words in the search engine? Like what? Yeah, see, I, I, I bet you don't. Because when you search creative, you don't find what you're looking for. But when you search, I need this color of that. I want four reasons why this happens this way. So what we want in the, in the title is to make a promise of what we're going to write about. And then we want to write about that. So we make a promise in the title. And then when we open up the, the, the content, we say, this is what I promised in the title, and this is what I'm going to deliver for you. If we do that, that's good search engine form. Here's what I promise. Here's what I'm going to give to you. And then you give that to them. All right, so be honest as, as, as you can be. Number three, proofread. Proofread. Uh, make sure there are no spelling mistakes. Make sure there are no typos. I mean, you, you, can, you can mess up everywhere. Don't mess up in the title. You can get words misspelled everywhere. Don't misspell them in the title. Because if you can't spell it right in the title, there's nobody going to click through to see what else you don't know how to do. So you want to proofread your title. It's, 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 it's show it to somebody who knows better. You know, bounce it off with other people. Make sure the title is completely error-free. And then we got the 60-70. 60 to wow, ah, number. Ah, let's put the numbers. 60 to 70. A title should be 60 to 70 characters long. 60 to 70 characters long. And the reason I say 60 to 70 characters is because sometimes the font width will change how well it fits. Sometimes your blog post, if it's 63 characters, it'll, it'll split. And then it looks kind of one full line and three letters on the bottom. That looks dumb. So we want to make sure it fits on your blog post, but we also want to make sure it fits in the search engine results. And we've, we've looked at this many times before. When you search for something, generally you will get about 70 characters, and after 70 characters you get a what, John? That's right, an ellipsis, a dot, dot, dot. If a title is too long, it won't show up. You'll just get a dot, dot, dot again. Whereas if a title is too short, you waste space that could have been landing on the search engine results. So 60 to 70 characters is your, is your ideal length. And when you've got 60 to 70 characters in your title, at seven, seven and a half characters per word, that's about eight, seven, eight, nine words. Seven or eight or nine words in your title. Seven, eight, nine words in every title. Okay, and we don't want adjectives. We don't want adverbs. We don't want prepositions. We don't want articles, and what else do we want? There was something, and we don't want conjunctions. No ands, no buts, no ors, no of, by, without, within, during. That's prepositions. No articles. A, an, the. We don't. We don't need them. Uh, adjectives. You know, best, top, maybe, but otherwise, adjectives aren't that useful to us. And adverbs, when's the last time you put an adverb, something that ends in L-Y, L-Y, in a search engine? We don't do that, right? So don't put it in your title. So, of course, you have to do it sometimes. Otherwise, it just simply sounds too stupid. doesn't make any sense. But you want to avoid them as, if it's mu as much as possible. Avoid them. So 60 to 70 characters, no adjectives, no adverbs, no prepositions, no conjunctions, and no articles. And, and then that way we get the best results for our, our, our search. And the way I lost my, I lost my, there it is. The best search engine results are the best searches. They're generally three or four words long. They're not one word searches. They're not two word searches. They're three or four word searches. Three word searches and four word searches. So if I have eight words in my title, then I have four, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 different combinations that people could use and still find my title, right? So the more words I have in my title that are relevant to my topic. The, Teresa, does that make sense? Don't be looking at them yet. We're going to do that in a minute. Pay attention for now. Right. 
but you get the idea why we want a, a good healthy title, right? Well, where my oh, I'm missing one. How many did I give? I gave you four. All right, the fifth one. The fifth one was the fifth one. Oh, the fifth one was, I don't know why it didn't show up. The fifth one was no fun. No fun. Titles should not be fun. Because, okay, no, 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 let me unbreak that rule for you in a minute. But titles should not be fun. And the reason that is is because nobody searches for fun. They don't search fun. Now, I'll tell you when you can have fun with your titles. That's when you have 10,000 people who are going to come to your site because they love you already. So if you have 10,000 subscribers, 1,000, 1,000, whatever, if you have people who have already subscribed, every time I update my page, it'll go to their email box, then we can have fun. That makes sense. Because I don't, in, in this case, I don't care whether the search engine finds me or not. I already have people who are going to read this. So I want to tease them with my titles. I want to, because it goes in their email box, oh, look at that, I wonder what else she's going to say. Well, that makes sense. But if you don't have a thousand people signed up to receive your blog every time you update, then avoid the fun and go for practical. Because people don't search for fun. So that, that was a, a no fun. And so here, this is, I don't know where we got the idea for this picture. I don't know. But yeah, he drew that. That's just another. He's thinking, he's thinking about where he's thinking, he's thinking about what he's thinking about. So what, what we're going here for is think hard. There's probably nothing more important to your search engine findability than getting your titles right, other than having good solid content. You can write something really good and write a really lousy title and eventually you'll get found. You just won't get found as well. Where you can write really, really good titles and write garbage and you'll get found much better. But people will not stay. Right? The title is more important for findability than the content. But if the content's out there, even people find you, they don't come back. That's a losing proposition. If I write really good stuff and bad titles, they're likely to find me, but not so many. So what are we going to do? 50-50 is get a good solid title and let's write good solid content. I'm sorry about the no fun I'm not showing. Oh, there it is. What happened there? Well, that's weird. There it is. No fun. No fun. All right. Here's my title prompts. All right. Here's my title prompts. I don't care what you write about. I don't care what you write about. You can tell me who lives in that world that you write about. Right? Let's talk about them. What goes on in that world that you write about? Right? When do things happen in that world that you write about? Where is this world? Where is it physically? Where is it virtually? This world that you write about. So you see what we're going, why? Why should anybody care about this world that you care about? And then how can I come to know that world that you live in and write about? So there, I, I, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can write about right there. Uh, here, here we got how-to posts, how-to whatever, tips, recommendations, give me some tips on, on understanding this better, tips on navigating here better. Here's some recommendations for you to, recommendations for Eastern Europeans to live in Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, so we can break these down. So, well, like your experience, your expert advice, let's talk about where you came from. Uh, so yeah, I don't read them all to you. You can see them all up there, right? Now, do it. I want five, five good titles from you and your topic. And as soon as you're done, email it to me at WC, write this down, WC, write this down. You can email this to me. WC, that's not WC, 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 <laughs> WC, B, like my last name, E, L, E, W, WC, B, E, L, E, W, at gmail.com. So as soon as you come up with five titles, send them up to me, and I'll call them up and put them up here, and let's get some real feedback. Do you know how to tell when you've got a really, really good title? No, Bill, how do, can I tell when I've got a really good title? Thank you for asking me. Here's how you can tell when you've got a really good title. You write that title, and then you show it to real people. 
And they say, wow, that's a really good title. I'm telling you, it's absolutely golden to have so many people in a room telling you that's good or that's bad. You know how hard that is to get? The rest of the time, you just kind of sit in the hole by yourself and you write and hope people like it. When you put it out there, hope people read it. So I, I, I don't know what you think, but this is a golden opportunity to get real feedback. Except for Jared. See, Jared, he wants to tell Jared. He says, I want feedback. Most people say, I want feedback. But that's not true. What they really want is people to say nice things to That's not what we want. We want real feedback. So come up with a title, and we'll put it up there, and we'll tell you whether it's any good or not. Is that fair? Yeah. All right, go. Let, let's go to three. Well, it's five. We're going to be connected to three titles. Send them to me. And then, uh, what's the topic? Your topic. It's your topic. Bob writes about oh. golf. Therese writes about Huh? Oh. I'm trying to think of my title here. No, what, what are you writing about? What's your topic? Uh, mine is mindful eating. Mindful eating. She writes about food and eating healthily, like deep fried pork nuggets dipped in brown oh, crust. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's very mindful. It's just mindful. that's mindful eating. It's just it, it, mind in the gutter is all. But Toa writes about I don't know. Priyanka writes about. Answer to security intimacy, to women's security and intimacy issues. Lorraine writes about? Tips to improve your life. Tips to improve your life. Boy, that broad. And Jerry, you want to write about? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. You and Lorraine can hang out with each other. Do you know how golden an opportunity it is? I'm serious. To be able to sit in a room with somebody else writing about the same thing. Because now, Lorraine can wait for you and you can wait See, in order to be found online, somebody has to already have found you. And there she is. There she is. It's golden. I mean, it's so hard to get people to recognize you. So when you're in a room with people, say, hey, 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 swap business cards. Hi, right, you got your titles done? Ah, I'm just talking to fill up the space on our, on our gizmo here. Maybe I'll stop. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Wow. 